Hey you! Subscribe to the Planet Fucking Crate Podcast. Hello, welcome to the Planet Crate Podcast. My name is Seth Fly. I'm right there. Hello, this is Ollie here. Back at you with new memes. DB Talks will be with us shortly. Um, Hermit and Virgil are out today. Thank you all for joining us for our usual car fight, talk, car fight Vanguard conversations, as well as other anime and games from time to time. Before we start, I'd like to shout out our one new subscriber from our last episode, which was posted two weeks ago. Uh, I have to find the first, though. One second. Oh, congrats. <laughs> yeah. Got another subscriber. I think that puts us at a total of 10 or 11 subscribers. Thank y'all for being out there. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all the other things. Uh, a live Sturbin shout out. Thank you for the subscription, bro. Um, if you want to like some, say something in the comments if you watch this video, we appreciate it. Anywho, let's get started with the anime. There's a lot to talk about, a lot to break down. And I have questions, I have thoughts. I am very, very, very unhappy that we did not get to see the Kanzaki and we didn't get to see the full Kanzaki and Shin fight. But I understand I understand why, yeah. I get why it is Shin during the fight because what happened? So yeah. Like I mean when when you I mean when you're after freaking gets freaking croaked by lasers, dude, like yeah. I mean, you're you gonna be in, in a very fighting mood. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. He was and he just lost your friend, so. Wait, but here's my thing, though. The way he dropped in looks like he was ready to fight. And then he just gave up the second he got up there. Don't give us that entrance and then give us, like, a well, stupid nothing to be fair, He that. is hurting. I it... mean, yeah, he's hurting, but they they led that to feel like the way he. Like, they could he could have just walked in. It was like, all right, let's do this. Or you could have walked in and said, no, 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 no. I mean, honestly, no, like, Mark, you know, got this I'm one. Not, I'm really he said, Mark, you got this one, and let him ride it out. But he didn't do any of that. He just kind of stepped up. They made it look like he was going to come in like a badass, go ham, win, and then go on to Worlds. But instead, <laughs> he came in like a badass and left out like a wimp to the point where a Kanzaki had no tears for his weakness. God. Even after I mean, what- Kanzaki already saw what's up with him. He'll, the reason why he didn't cry was probably stuff what happened. So he probably catch on pretty quickly. So I mean, he already knows him with that at, I, as 1% I best. Feel his, I feel shit not being where he was. I get it completely. I'm not even bugging out. I just don't make me feel like it's going to be a boss ass fight by giving me all that pre- all that like set up and dope and awesome entrance and then just give me like a throw where he can't even look look Kanzaki in the face as he takes the six damage. Like come on fam. Oh, I mean I mean I, He could have got it anyway, his hand was literally trash. Yeah he, he had, had, he, he had two, two cards. cards. <laughs> and you go against Claire Story attacking you twice. So yeah, true. True. I'm not saying that that's not I've an issue. been there. I'm saying It's not fun. I've been there. I, I feel you. I feel you. It's it's a little scary. It's kind of crazy. My issues are the way it looked from going into like the last episode, how he entered the last episode, which is very badass, very ominous, very like just like like a chained Shinemon. Shinemon switched to Shin that day, but at the same time, about some character. Yeah, this. Would they they touch on that later in, in the anime. But at the same time, to give us the flashback of him just taking the six damage, like a little bit. Like, come on, fam. Like, that was he not... Did, he didn't take it a bit, okay. but he, took it, he just took it head on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He took it, hold on, hold on. it and then walked away. He took it hard. You're gonna call shit him on that way he been through, bro. Imagine, That was dude. an end. Be- Listen, bro, you're the, your best friend I'm not... just went through the portal to only God knows what, and they had to compete in wait, the wait, wait, uh, regional wait, wait, finals or afterwards. Wait, wait. Of course you're not wait, gonna wait, be, uh, wait, 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 be emotionally okay. sound for the match. Come okay. on. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, to make me not look like an asshole, because I look like one right now. I feel like I look like one right now. 
I'm not saying I don't empathize. I empathize. I get all of that. But why make it look like he was going to go so ham despite all of that just for him to do nothing uh, in a flashback and then take flat. six damage? Like, that's my issue. It's just a writing issue. It's her not issue. really in the game. Like, <laughs> he's there to play, to play, but his head or his heart not into it. I mean, I get that. It happens. If, if you knew you were going to make him lose that fight in a very, like, like without like a strong they didn't no they didn't show him trying his best the the announcer literally I mean, said too. he's just been taking damage after damage with doing a little guarding like he didn't even look surprised when he took that last damage like as a guard he wasn't even hoping for a trigger the fight was already over which leads me to think that they set up that fight after Tatia when he's like some people give up when they have to take the six damage, but when you, you really go up, when you don't see a hill trigger, if you still feel like, if you still have faith in the fight and want to continue the fight, you'll continue the fight on through until you uh, see that like his heart wasn't into it, that's but why. that's my thing. That's the same thing that his master knew, did against... They knew they were going to write and script it that way, but then gave us the badass intro scene anyway. And it's like, that's giving me mixed messages. Why would you do that? It makes no sense. That's all my grief is. That's all my beef is. Fair point. <clears throat> that's all my beef is. I, I mean, it's, it's a fair... Honest, before we move on to something else, it's a fair point. But to be honest, if we, if we go by like what the character's feeling right now, if I was in his shoes and I came down on a freaking cliff, first I would go down. No, I, 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 I wouldn't even fight. I just slapped Mark if I, was, if I was in his shoulder, if I was in his shoes, right, and I knew that to be in a regional turn, yeah, I'll show up. But don't think I'm going to be mentally all there when uh, I've seen my best no. friend get freaking sucked by a portal. No, where but I'm not going to drop right. down. I'm not going to drop down with dope music in the background from a helicopter. I'm going to drop down from the helicopter outside and walk up like. I mean, like, in terms of your, your your game starts in like five minutes. How are you supposed to get in there? Like, all right, so I'm going to drop down from a helicopter. The same that, I'm going to drop down from a helicopter, but I'm going to drop down next to Mark and tell him he can fight it. I'm not fighting. Like, that's all I'm going to No, Mark already lost, so he has to play that when it's up and just ironically lose. Yeah. yeah, Mark already lost the game, and Ryman's going to be there. He, you know, he's already dead, so... I, like, they they, they could have chosen more somber music as opposed to, like, awesome, extreme, like, interesting fighting rock music, that rock ballad for music. They could have chosen a different interaction between him and Mark, where it didn't look like he was about to go destroy someone in the card game. Like they could have done. I mean, him and Mark, he just came in there literally heartbroken because his friend just gone. Yeah, yeah man. Well, yes, but again, like, they did not. They didn't set it up to look like that to me. To me, they set it up like a badass moment, like him just ignoring Mark because of the stress. I mean, yeah, and, then, the last and then sitting the there, episode. sitting there, and then looking at Kanzaki like, "Let's do this, bro." And then just goes, "I'm just gonna take all the damage. I give up life." I don't, I don't really feel like fighting right now. Like, don't do that. I mean, I don't, fit, I don't think he just did it into all the He's quit. He just, like I said, his head and heart got into it. Like, but let's go on from that part of the episode. Let's yeah, go yeah, let's on go the on. whole. The chrono part, yeah. Yeah. My boy Chrono back. The, um, the canon <laughs> ruin part. Sadly, the old voice actor couldn't. Do it be due to medical reasons. Just like Tokoha voice actor. Yeah. He's a new he's a new voice actor, but he did a still good good job. Still sound like the Honestly, original yeah, chrono. I, I know I know this is so nervous in Chrono's voice, but like maybe the voice I just gave the the vibe that he just didn't care. Um Chrono at the beginning just did not care about a lot of things. So, oh, yeah. that's, just a, that's the personality portraying that voice, voice acting, which I think is pretty good. Well, cool. yeah. I mean, both Odin and New can do that. Oh, what's up, TV? Oh, wait. All right. Still in his mind. Um, yeah. I mean, Old Chrono and New, Cro and New Chrono is basically the same on that front, but he's going to be more on the manga version of Chrono. Yeah, this chrono, this chrono carries even less. I mean, at least that chrono wanted to go. So the, the, the first thing he did with his deck 
was literally throw it away. Like that, that's a yep. that's a that's, a, that's, a, that's the first thing he did. He sees oh the gear chronicle deck. I in the trash. <laughs> uh, I'm not playing this game. Me just throw it away. Oh, we sell. Oh wait, change my wait, wait. My friends call me. Let me get that back from you. Can I sell it? Honestly, that's the like, oh, opening. Oh, that's a card. A card just said my name. Can I sell this? <laughs> yeah, basically. Oh my god. Chrono Wild, bro. Honestly, he he wild. And the manga, he really start the whole series. Can I sell this deck? Like what? <laughs> but your deck is so rare. I don't care, man. It was rare. Let me sell it then, bro. Yeah, man, this guy is not bad at Tasha Vanguard due to the fact that he lost his memory. They're going with the little lost memory thing with this chrono. Oh, can you talk now, DB? Oh, yeah, sorry. I hit me by accident. All right. Uh, before, be while we're here, before I move on to my thoughts and opinions about chrono parts, about the chrono bits, um, Hermit did leave me with some talking points of his own. I'm just gonna read okay. them straight as words, um, and you can talk about how you feel about them after. Um, yeah. his thoughts, because I told him the same thing, his thoughts were about the Kanzaki Kanzaki versus Shin fight. He's like, his thoughts are, how do we think he could even play straight after what he's been through when most, when most of us can barely play straight when we're sleepy or hungry? Valid point. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, there's, no, there's a I, I can relate to that. Comparison. Yeah, I can relate. Yeah, when you're when you're like passed out, about about to be passed out, and you're exhausted. You really can't focus on the car fight. Um, I mean, he enjoyed well, the episode and the outcome overall. Uh, he's <laughs> he said he was a little mind blown by the fact that the association hadn't been set up yet, since in comparison to the original G series. The association had already been. Oh, uh, there's a different timeline, so it's the same it been... timeline. It's a different. It's a different um canon. Same timeline. They're just correcting the canon to fit well with the. Model. No, it's a different timeline as own. That's all. Honestly, it's, 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 uh, it's, is that it's confirmed the or is that your thought? I feel like it's, it's confirmed because G follows the original while this is following the V, and yeah. each one has a different. Specific timeline. Really, what the mind Chrono make Chrono Dran. So all of this happened after IG. This is like right after yes, IG. It's... Had the meeting with Essica. That was interesting. Chrono shows up to the shop being led by Kamui. Yeah, uh, that's know. new. Yeah, that's all new. I don't think it's. I think it's the same time. I think they're basically making this canon, and then saying that. I G mean, is now both are canon. It just said. Uh, each one has their own separate timeline. Interesting, interesting, yeah. interesting. All right. So he said, "In G, the association has been set up for years. It's a little way that it has that it was just being set up now." He, oh, he does not think that um, Ryuzu will be the antagonist this time around. I, disagree. I mean, this is a different. <laughs> so, so funny. So funny if he passed that man. Like, I disagree. Yeah, yeah, I mean, he literally still says he's still for his ambition. Yeah. He just gonna. It'll take a bit more time now since they gotta redo everything yeah. else from now. I this is what they're turning up because it's setting itself up to follow the G manga, where it has its own villains and whatnot. Which I, I heard they're actually interesting characters, but. We should be talking about the original anime, talk about the anime breakdown right now, but we can talk about that later. He also thought, he also likes that now Kronos not as much of a hothead. Uh, we both agree we like the new voice actor a lot. I don't think it's that big a difference. I mean, it's a big difference. Let's not act like it's not a giant. Oh, yeah. A difference. But I and like there's it, a reason though. for that. I forgot to explain. Yeah, yeah. It's different time. Yeah, so that's, so... There's, so they're setting up various timelines and canons for the series, which is interesting. I don't know if that's the better way to go. I think just making this timeline the canon and making G an alternate an alternate timeline. But if G I mean, and B are technically are in an alternate timeline. The yeah. moment they, the moment they re restart Vanguard from B is already we are alternate route, alternate yeah. route. Yeah. Okay, so. 
talking about that. Um, anyone have any other thoughts about what happened in any episode? There's a lot going on there. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Hey, Chrono, hey, DB. Chrono meets Let me Shin speak. early on. Go for it, DB. Talk, talk, DB. Yes, I'm waiting. First, I want to say, um, so it just bothers me now that Masaki treats uh, Shin like shit. It really uh, they're doing that. <laughs> no, just, no, kidding, no kidding. Both G and old canon and new old canon and this new cast, you still treat him like that. Yeah, she's always treating him like that. I know, but that's nothing new. As, as someone who's only started with B here, basically because, in, uh, and even Shin pointed at himself, he's like, man, she used to be so nice to me, and now she's just really mean. It's like, why? The, I, think I, I think I know why. I think I know why. Hormones? There's definitely I mean, for it. Um, I mean, right? just, just say hormones. What? That's, whoa. She's a really college student. Whoa. 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 Okay, okay. Ignoring that last comment. I mean, I'm not lying. She technically is a college student due to but she kind of confirming that. Yeah. So, looking at my thoughts about... Okay, I went to DD Talks but... For a second, second, I'm back. Well, okay. So here's my thoughts. Uh, I feel oh, like. Oh, 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 I didn't finish my thoughts. Yeah, yeah, oh, finish thought. your thought. Finish your thought. I thought you weren't finished. No, no, no I wasn't. Um, okay, go for it. I, I know. Overall, I liked it. I thought it was a good episode. At first, you know, um, I, when it started, and I see them, I see Shan saying, <laughs> saying that Vanguard, okay, I was like, here goes the fight. And then 10 years later, I was kind of pissed. But yep. then later on, when they revealed that. Uh, he lost the fight. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's why they didn't show it. But at the same time, I, I at least think they showed it. Fight, honestly, because I mean, yeah, we got the flashback, but it was a, sh- a shitty flashback. I was hoping for him to win but, the fight. I, I disagree with what um, Hermit said because it, it does make sense. He had a lot going on in his mind. He couldn't focus. Um, but at the same time, I, I as someone who's watched, you know, like a lot of Dragon Ball. When someone's like, when someone loses a loved one or gets pissed off, it kind of takes them to the next level. And so whenever Kanzaki was like, hey, what's going on with this guy? I was hoping for Shin to kind of like treat Kanzaki, how Kanzaki treats him, and just totally obliterate him. But that didn't happen. And it's not a worthy. It's not a worthy felt like that last time. Yeah. That's what he wants. Yeah. But yeah. overall, <laughs> I thought it was pretty sweet. And I, I'm I'm shipping the Essica Shin thing right now. I'm telling you. Oh, Essica Shin <laughs> Shepard. You want dinner? No, nope, gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Gosh. But yeah, like, uh, yeah Eska's I'll... thirsting for Shin so hard. I respect. But so is um, what's her face? Uh, what's her name? So it's Mikaru. Oh. Yeah, Mikaru. Mikaru yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? You talked to Essica? Hold up. About what? Oh, hi, Miss Lucky. Gotta go. Bye. <coughs> yeah, so I'll go ahead with what you want to say. That's all I have to say. Oh, um, I don't know. I um, oh, so just more a little more wrap up going into the bits where um, Colonel realizes that he and she know each other, and he and Mark know each other. But past. also knows his father as well. Yeah, he's getting a lot more information this time around in this arc. <laughs> Then he got last arc. It took him a while. It took him like three seasons to realize that all yeah. of them had to <clears throat> Yeah, and they still keep it secret about it a yeah. little bit because they don't want him to know yes, everything, Mark apparently. Did flip, Mark did flip the picture of all of them face down. Um, and Camille just shows them, it's like, wait, you know my dad? Yeah, and then Camille <laughs> just shows them, it's like, damn it, Camille, stop! <laughs> I mean, Camille didn't know they was hiding it, so it's kind of just... True, Come true. Kamu didn't know. He knew nothing. He was completely unaware. But, like, I get it. But, man, just that, that thought process is like, oh, you will play me. Also, I don't think Shin's played Vanguard for a while. Like, looking at that last Well, scene, this is fine. Where he's because, like, he's it's like, kind of in the playing field. Yeah. And this basically might be the closer that Shin needs right now in finding Pro now. So it's next week the last episode. We're, we have one. We have two more. The one that comes next week and one that comes after, which is basically a closer for Shin. Basically, Shin. thinking just an epi- ep- 
epilogue yeah. for the, our old Shin and arc. So then like, it'll focus on Chrono then? I felt like this was, well, no, it's going to cut off and then there's going to be, like, maybe a few Vanguard break. Vanguard F. Well, no, they Which postponed, they postponed Vanguard F for a few weeks, for a little bit. It'll come out in April, but yeah. it's I heard gonna that uh, Car for Vanguard F is like, be like one or two episodes long, something long, though. I really hope it's very short. I really have no interest in this game. Well, Honestly, bro, I, I have no interest in rehashing the uh, River series again. Like, twice is enough. No more. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I mean, this is... I like the idea of if because it's completely new. It's something... It's gonna completely. give us a bit Fuck, more completely. backstory. Ooh. It's gonna most likely give us more backstory. Yeah. And we're gonna understand how the heck Colonel got that deck this time because we already know who well, gave him the deck again. Well, maybe... What if... What if this is actually after Chrono? I mean, what if starts way before? Does yeah, if is a rehash of what happened if something changed in the in the original series. Oh, so it, okay, okay, I get it now. Yeah. So if it's like, if it's twisting the arcs to like kind of make them. It's twisting time to see what the heck's going on. Yeah. 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 It's, it's the, the timeline time. is. Yeah. The timeline for the if series is literally what if the, the bad guys were the good guys? You, you see that Ibuki and uh, what's her what's the girl's name? I forgot. Uh, is actually the one of the main protagonists in the series. Yeah. When he's actually supposed to be the main antagonist. So <laughs> now doing like a every time what happens all the way around. You know what? You know. I get it. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm very interested to see what it is, though. Like, I want to watch it. Yeah. But then, but then I, I want to. I am actual girl in there. I don't. But I don't. That's, want, something, that's something. That's something else. Yeah. I don't want any more fourteen episodes. But back from that tangent. Uh, any more thoughts um, about the G breakdown? I mean, the anime breakdown. Yeah, man. I think. Good episode. I think final episode. Get with the fuck. Let's see a trial versus possibly an updated version, or if not a trial deck fight. Yo, if we see if we say next stage's ability this next episode, it's a bit early, but I can't wait. It, it is a bit early. Most well, likely, it might stay until. I mean, how much longer do you want to wait for it? Like, if we wait next too year, long, if we... yeah, that's when they're doing the whole G thing anyway. True, but then we'll already have next stage out by the time that comes around. I mean, if you remember right, and back in way back when V started, right, we got the ability of waterfall really early. And then they, they have Kai's Waterfall at the end of season one. So they're running the exact same thing with Next Stage now, you know? Okay. So True. it might be the exact same. Uh, if not too. one that strides, one of his new grade four that comes from the set can also be revealed as well. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Like, Pauly is still up there. As well as, I'm kind of like how they introduced the other two G main characters, Doha and Sh <laughs> Did y'all think it was funny that Chrono was embarrassed that all the cards had his name? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that, that, was that like, hit me. It's like, damn. Like, oh, Understand. Yeah. It's like, why do they all have my name, though? Why are you pushing? <laughs> it's all my name. This is embarrassing as hell. This is stupid, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's quality. Um, so, on to our next topic. Uh, shifting from... Vanguard from anime to you want to talk meta local meta rebel hotel rebel oof party alright so amazing quality bro talk to your quality local tourney tourney results basically what happened our short tournament well our local shop where we just do our local car yeah. Vanguard stuff just so you and know Enter to Spore Store and play. And all of the new stuff was off the play. Um, yeah. Of course, there were Ravon players. There were Danger Launch players. There's, there I were, said we had about 14 people enter for the yeah. first for a while. And yeah, that's, that's that was the most crazy. crazy. We got a yeah. four round tournament this time around. A lot, a lot of representation and, and interesting, interesting fights. Um, yep. There, were, there was Maelstrom. Ravon was there. Um, what is Hermit. that card called? Hermit. What was that card called? Hermit. Hmm? Which card? Um. Ah, uh, the Shadow Paladin's card. I forget the name all the time. I keep calling Claire it. Sword? Claire Sword. Claire Sword. Yeah. yeah. There yeah, are two, two iterations of Claire Sword. 
Um, there's one, three innovations. There's two innovations of Revan. Two, I was playing the yeah, two innovations of Revan. Um, we'll go through your Revan build, uh, and then we'll talk about the other person's Revan build, which was just for Revan. Were you running for Revan? Yeah, I was for Revan. For Revan. Same. Same construction build, but it's different. I, I had a different engine. Different engine. I feel you. Um, with Danger Lunge, there was one four Danger Lunge, twenty one great ones, and then there was four Danger Lunge, Danger Lunge. four sword? Danger Lunge, two. Main clear I mean, ah, clear sword. Sorry, four <laughs> clear sword, twenty one great ones, and then there was four clear sword, um, two Gust Blaster, and sixteen great ones. Um. Uh, not Gust Blaster. It was Gust. I mean, sorry. What? It was just Gust Blaster. Yeah, it was Gust Blaster Dragon. Yeah. I mean, it's basically the old build. Yeah, but this time it was. A no, I was not there. Uh, there, was was there was a Gust Blaster. There was a Gust deck. Um, I was using my Gust deck. Yeah. yeah, and then there was a Claret Claret Dust uh, Gust. Uh, Ali was not there. He was self quarantining himself like a little baby. Um, I, I mean, I'm going to jump through this phone and I will commit assault upon you. Good uh, sir. Calm like, down. I wish, calm down. Calm I down. Wish, I wish. I wish. Oh, as point. well as we had a great nature player, we as well nature. as a uh, Hanzo, Hanzo player. Hanzo player who got second place. A Spike Brothers player who got first place. Yeah, hey, there we go. See, that's, that's what I want to hear sometimes. Um, I mean, Maelstrom with I, new Maelstrom support, Mordrick with new Mordrick support. Um, I yeah, yeah, that sounds about, about it. So, that what it should be for oh, it got a grand blue player as well. Oh, yeah, grand blue, yeah, grand blue, and an old shell pal. No, um, Nova Grappler. Oh, Nova, so that should be everyone. Oh, and Me Mega Colony. Well. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah Mega, Mega Colony. Colony. Mega Colony. That's right, Mega, Mega Colony. Colony. Yo, Jonathan competed? What? Yeah, Jonathan yes. was there. Mega oh, Colony, oh Mega Colony. He did decent. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm uh, annoyed. To wrap up the tops, again, Spike Brother, one. Hanzo, <laughs> me, two. And then, what was third? I forgot. Was it Claritord? I think one to Claritord and one, yeah. Yeah. No, no, Riven, Riven player. Oh yeah, Riven player. Oh, was that you? Mitchell. No, Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell got it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mitchell, I'm glad Mitchell got it because his first fight against me was not great. I feel horrible for him. He only, he only got like one Riven. But the same thing happened to that me in my last fight. Is what the deck does. Yeah. So Riven, the reason, got one, but the reason, even I, yeah, the deck's still good. The reason I didn't win against Hanzo was because I only the first, the second, the only great three I ever got was a Hanzo. And I didn't even get to ride him. I got him as a drive check on my grade two, That's and then fair. I was killed the next round against Spike Brothers. It was not great. It was very harsh. I was able to drag it out a while, but just not long enough for me to get a ride. Had I been able to ride, I would have killed the next round, but I just, because I cut down this card so much, but I just didn't have it. So what was your score? Uh, it was four to six. I meant record, man. Record. Oh, record score. Three one. Three one. I went up three zero, okay. and then I lost one. Um, Spike Brothers went four zero, which is kind of weird. It's super crazy. Not really. Spikes are still good. They're this scary. Me, this many people don't play it. Scary, That's the problem. Rare. Yo, I think, listen, dude. I, I definitely think Spike Brothers. I thought Spike Brothers and that deck can believe. Yeah. You know, I don't care. I feel like Spike Brothers. Yeah, that's not kind of greatness. Probably. If one they of get the most pressured, they yeah. too many card pieces. Yeah. But, I, yeah. I think Spike is definitely one of the more slept though. Was Vanquish in there at all? Was there no? No, I did not. No, someone no, did play Naragami. Play... Someone played Wait, someone did? No, I didn't see no. No, I didn't play Naragami. It's just what I just said. Okay, so no, no Naragami. So, if, no I could, if I could give my to someone no one's playing Naragami, um, that deck right now is stupidly expensive. I should know. I am very close to finishing it. And the I mean, I got my deck already like finished. Like, no one's play that deck. Austin, Dick, I mean, I got my stuff. I got my stuff complete. I just didn't play. I just want to test out my Riven. Austin did compete with Murakumo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mar that's right. Murakumo was played. Damn. I, think he went, I believe he went. That's two. surprising. <laughs> yeah. And he does still run Shiryuki. He feels like he makes it consistently. Nothing really changed with the deck. Shiryuki is the one or two of anyway. Yeah. yeah. 
That's even more surprising. But he doesn't run the engine now. Yeah. No. So, search for her engine. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I think right now at this point you would just run her, come up without the search engine, and just pray for the. Pray you get her. Yeah, pray. And just use her that one time. Pray you don't damage check her or have the first ride. Because that would Which be is super fine. unfortunate. Alright, so. Any other thoughts? I feel like I local shop. Anyway, my score, I went 2-2. 2-2? Two, two. Two, two? Nice, nice. Yeah. Respect. Um, did we I went 0-0. Oh, oh. You went 0-0 oh, because oh, you weren't there. Sorry. Um, DB? DB Talks is AFK right now. DB Talks, I believe, went 1-3. He had a rough fight. He was going Gus Blasters. It is old, but it does have new support. Well, it does have new support. I'm not going to lie. He... Oh, DB. There you go. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about your experience in Gus Blaster in the modern. So, uh, long story short, so I was going to use the new the new Mortred, but I wanted a certain someone there who used to main Shadow Paladin's standard tournament. So I was like, hey, bro, uh, I'll let you use Mortred if, if you're in the tournament. And so he did. And I, But I really did want to try out uh, Gus Blaster because, you know, it is updated. It's not like, you know, meta, but... There's definitely some changes that help it a lot. Like when I when I faced uh, Mitchell uh, with Revan, <clears throat> so I actually could have won, but I made the mistake of not uh, using a fan blaster skill twice. Because when I did that, I have that new grade one that says when you use a skill that retires units, it gets plus oh, ten thousand. Oh yeah, seventeen thousand boost. So basically, <laughs> had I done that, I would have wiped his whole field, and I could have burned him. My attack would have been like. 80,000 something, he didn't have perfect guard, so I would have won. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he couldn't block the attack, and I only cow busted one time. It was like a 65k attack. He just took it, and of course, I didn't draw a crit trigger, so he survived and beat me. So, so it's not completely, it's not meta, but I think it definitely helps out. Um, it's a good budget on turn, except for maybe some of the cards you still need to get, but. And I also have two in there, too. That, that's always good for like. Surprised, like okay, well, <laughs> so um, um, oh, also Riviera was there. I forgot about that. Oh, I didn't think Riviera was there. Yeah, Matthew was playing. Yeah, Wait, Matthew. what? Yeah, Matthew was playing. Matthew, I didn't see Matthew. He was there, he was playing. Yeah, I saw him in the uh, tournament. He was oh. In oh, yeah, yeah, Dude. but I didn't see at all. Yeah, but I oh. guess with it being uh. The skill being nerfed, and I guess he didn't. It's, I mean, it's not broken. It's still a good deck. It's it's very fair, very, very good. I hear. You just gotta know when to pull the sugar pretty well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Should have been there, to be honest. What a wreck shop. <laughs> what would you have played if you were there, Allie? Oh, I put Narukami. Y'all would have not survived. <laughs> uh, you well, we know I have a random time I used Gus Blaster. Uh, I don't know. I feel like as someone, I mean, as far as Honda went, I feel like that is the best chance against, or best protects best chance against a sale. I did decent no. against. I mean, no, I, no, played no, two, I played two. I played two Force. No. I played two Aqua Force, Spike Brothers, and Clara Sword. So, and I went. 3 0 up. So, and, lost and, my, and my play, play testing, right? I faced. Because of a lack of 3 3. In my play testing, <laughs> right? I faced against Hanzo, right? With Narukami. And it, it's kind of cool. Yeah, you can you can bounce the rear guards to my hand into the drop zone. But be careful what you bounce, because the guy bounced all my rice finishes to my hand and ended up in the drop zone I mean, and yeah, ended up fucking my board and he ended up dying. Yeah, and that, then I thought, oh, I'm just going to call that, my, that, my token to the rear that's guard. Just, that's then just smart play. Back the front row, so. That's just smart play. That's just knowing, that's just looking at the cards you have um, your opponent has on board to make sure I that there's mean, no really it's pretty, uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty bonehead to bounce everything back. You should never bounce out the Phoenix. Just yeah. leave the things alone. They'll yeah. get rid of it and re reuse it again. Um, Just if it's a good it. own place, leave it there. Yeah, I leave it there. Um, uh, I think uh, um, people would try not to call rear guards, and I think I it, it doesn't really matter to me because I bounce from anywhere now. I'm as a uh, rebel. I'm sure you know. 
You can just buy a uh, bomb for anywhere. You don't really care what you. Oh well, yeah, I'm saying that book in grade two common literally states that you can yeah, fuck the man. There was freaking Jackie Sean Chatura. Oh my god, they they are going to get attacked at least eight times. If they call Rhaegar, it's going to be up to twelve. I'm just, <laughs> and it'll be nuts. I I took on Ravon. The Minecraft kid was cute, but the men I will break with sure they die because <laughs> their hand isn't that great. <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, yeah, the not... best way to go is near Akami in general is yeah, to go hard and rush yeah, them. That's how you want to do because yeah. you have to eat up their hand. If not, try to make them drop cards out of their hand if you need yeah. fast. You're talking about the most powerful deck by a lot. By at least a yeah. little bit. And, That's and why I took something to finish it. <laughs> like, stupid. $33 for VR? Come on, stupid. I mean, again, one of the best. The top. One of the top two clans uh, decks out right now. And then just just the top mile, ten. Mile. You can't, yeah, can't really yeah. compare it to Ravon all that much because it just dies. I wasn't talking about Ravon. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not gonna say Ravon's one of the. It's like not. It's good, but I'm not gonna say it's like the best. Oh, well, Ravon is pretty scary, actually. Ravon is pretty scary. I'm not gonna say Ravon's not scary. I'm not disrespecting Ravon. I'm just saying okay, well, one of the top two. I was. I would still according, say Riviera is pretty up there. According to no. Mitchell, uh, Riven's number two. Riven's according to Mitchell. Two oh, okay. That's what he thinks. Yeah. Still. still. I, I believe so too, because Apache has a lot of. Yeah. Still still season. I get it. I respect. Shut up. Alright, so. So. Uh, any last thoughts on our local tournaments in the current meta? Of I can't even. So what the bill is running over it on, uh, if you guys want to. Yeah, go for it. Give us, such, give us your Ravon build. Uh, my Ravon is running the Blue Wing engine. Got Whoa. it. Got it. Respect. He was, he Respect. was not ready, but I don't believe he was ready. It's all crits healed. If I try to get healed, my fort restands. Oh, and that's how you defeated the, that's how you oh, defeated the person in my game. mortar. I did that crap twice on grade one and on or on turn as well. All right, so say that again. Break us break down how that works again. Well, you see, the blue wing engine is basically simple. You just run crits and heals. If you hit a heal, your four restand. Even if you're on a blue wing vanguard on grade two or one. If you hit a crit or heal, your board restands. No, no. When you hit a heal. Whoa. That's the whole key point of the deck. Hit a heal early, it, even with your board to three stands, and get another dry check on a grade two, blue wing, or even grade one. I mean, you're getting more cards in your hand and doing more damage. So you either get a heal or you get a crit. My last opponent from. That's why round four, I killed him. Because around grade two, one, I. No, grade two, I restood. And he's like, kid a damage trick. He's like, Hit hey, damage trigger, so, okay, I'm fixed. Like, nope. Hit, heal, reset my board, swing again, power and crit, put him down to five, and he just had to kill me that turn. If he couldn't, he couldn't do that, and I got Ravon and killed him. Uh, yikes. That gets pretty scary. I could have yeah. won, oh, yeah. won against the, my first round part, but I didn't hit a heal, which sucked, but it happens. Like, I'm playing that risk, I'm playing that gamble. It's, it happens. Yeah, that deck is a very high risk, high reward type of thing. If you don't hit a heal, the decks aren't really doing that much. But when you do hit a heal, the opponent's dead. Like, you're not surviving 8 to 10 attacks. That's you really have 5 or 4. It's the point that's in minus 5k. No, you're, you're just dead. You're just dead. You just dead. You stop. <laughs> Yikes. That's... Just imagine. I remember, the deck <laughs> is running only 4 rev on, so... My deck already had a very 11 I could just sit on, so it doesn't really matter to me. I can just sit on that. If I do get the Rev on opening hand or two, it's like, oh, I'm set to go. But, other than that, deck is fun. Did change it a bit, though. So, about draw from 8 crit to 7 for one order to draw. And replace my grade 2 ratio again. Why not? It should be fine. Man, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we go from slightly, from like two seconds of being a fishing season to a self season. 
I mean, Cell is getting Cell not getting much support from a bit, and you yeah. give me a full. Oh, oh no, no, there's definitely be a, like you have three really decent looking trial decks coming out. That are all. Yeah, the trials are really nice right now. To and be then honest. after that, after that, <laughs> said after that is booster packs for those trial decks. I mean, <laughs> right now we're about to get actual fours, but yeah. it's gonna be. Yeah. Chrome thing, I feel like it's gonna be one. Hell of an annoying deck to deal with. How much better is Genesis gonna get now? Like, um, they, it doesn't look it is? that great. It's got a boost, my honest opinion. Yeah. Like, the restand is scary, but like, that makes you have to run like 8 to 10. The restand's a, like a less option, less ditch option, but internet, I think it'll do well. Yeah. So, I actually played the new, uh, Rev Vicarion thing. Um, that restand is, is a, is a, a very, it's a good byproduct, but what really makes the deck scary is how fast you can get to Vicarion. Yeah. Like, getting those three, just getting three, uh, per, uh, four points, right, is yeah. easy. It's all carry on that early is extremely scary, especially when you go first. Like, that's oh, like, yeah. a 70k attack. You Who knows near PG. Attack, to be honest. So the deck build that I had, I ran twelve crits and four of the drop one draw one PGs, right? And I went first. I hit Valkyrion, hit three crits, they died. <laughs> like the deck is nuts, honestly. That 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 restand is, is, is great and all, but that that speed in itself is what the deck really needs, and it's crazy, honestly. Yeah, the new grade three boss basically says, "Oh, we get three force markers." That's kind of just fucking scary on its own. Where I, I am. <clears throat> gosh, that's scary. Can you survive? You gotta make sure you can kill them, but you don't. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're just in deep trouble. So, um, what do we think about the other? We think. I mean, I think, I feel like Chrono Fang's gonna be really decent. I think that's pretty scary. What oh, about, yeah. What about Angels? Angels is looking decent. There's oh, like, yeah. Oh, that's a um, decent deck. Uh, Virgil, yeah. Virgil does yeah. have a proxy Angel deck, and with Val Val F, it's pretty... Oof. Well, let me, let me tell you. It looks, it's really good, but whenever he played it against, uh, uh, what was it? Neo Nectar did not go so well. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does against four stacks, honestly, and against Excel decks, it doesn't do too hot either. Like I, feel, I know it's not Rokami, but I didn't do so well with my hand. Like I had to sit on Gullibuster, the deck still died. So it, it's not looking too hot for it against. But against against uh, other decks that aren't you know really good, like the deck does very well. Sorry. <laughs> well, oh, okay. All right. Let's go to the next topic now. Next topic. Um, next topic is uh, um, a bunch of extra airtime. Um, um, there's a few. Uh, let's talk about trial decks. Do you want to talk about trial decks, or do you want to talk about what you want to see in Chrono Arc? Those are our options. Trial deck and what? Choose your... We talk about the three trial decks, comparison, which one you think is strongest. Or we can talk about what you want to see in Chrono Arc. Actually, let's talk about trial decks. Okay, my new cool. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. Um, and this is pretty much wrap up the podcast. I'm going to name how I think the trial decks will be when they come out from... Least to greatest, and then y'all do that, and then we can talk about how we feel about those least to greatest, and if we all kind of come out with the same one. I'm gonna go. I feel like. Don't be mad at me, Allie. Don't come at me, okay? Don't come at me. Depends what you say, she. Hey, don't come at me. Don't come at me, Allie. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. But just look just at you, him. Chrono Dragon is the worst. Then oh, oh, Asha. oh, you did not just say that. Then Asha. Then Asha. Then Altmau. Chrono Dragon, Asha, Altmau. From least to greatest. 
I think Chrono Jack will be good and strong. I just don't think it's as good as Asha or Outmile at all. Oh, he didn't. Well, know. it really he, depends he on what that. everyone also the so four he, comes out to, not and not just the trial that. deck. It also comes out to what also does. I think it'll become probably their main set. I think it'll be stronger than both once it comes to the main set. But like right now, looking at the support, looking at the cards, I don't think it's gonna be that great. Okay, like, can I, I think can it's can I defend it real quick? Plus. Hang on, can I, 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 I defend it real plus. quick? Go for it. Do what you can. Right, let, let, let me First, defend this, before this you defend it, you have to give your top three. That's what we're doing here. So All right. Before you defend so, it, you have to give. Can take. So, yeah. in, in my opinion, right here's here's <laughs> my uh, first. Let me let me give you what I think the top is going to be. I think the lowest one is going to be Asha, all mild in front of Jen. Here's why. Here's why. Hear me out. Here's why. Fair, fair. Here's why. I think Chrono Jet on its own isn't that good. It's not. It, on the rear guard, it's fantastic. If you put a crit on it, it it's going to be around that time. But with the deck that it's with, right? All I did was Chrono Fang and Chrono Jet with a trial deck, and the deck did insanely well. Like this deck being splashable with different with different things from different sets is nuts. Asha yeah. cannot do that with its tokens. It can Yeah, Asha Arboros work. Let's not let's not go. There. No, Asha would anti that make a token. Yeah. That just feels strong yeah. on its own. True. But Asha's go on. Still... Maybe maybe I saw it maybe I saw it in, in, in premium, but for uh, not premium. It worked, but standard. I, We're maybe, standard, I don't know. Man. But but for Chrono Jet, right? How splash well does different things? It's it's insane. Also, I'm looking at the trial deck right now. It's only been half released. All we know is Bearing Rover, Gears Repeater, Chrono Jet, and Metallica. There's still a whole set of grade twos we know nothing about, honestly. It's fine. But if yeah. all we know, the grade twos can make this deck busted. But we're not talking about. Know. We're talking about. I mean, Shizu the grade two they're about to get is from a original manga, and that's had a good skill from what I heard. But go on. It doesn't have a good skill, or it does have. A it good does. Skill? It does. It does. Might be a staple on Colonel Jet build, but go on. So based on what I've seen, right, and what the Zek can do, what can potentially do as a whole, I see Gear the Gear Crumple deck being a very, very, very big force to reckon with. Do I? Do I? Do I uh? Do I think it's better than Alt Mile? A little no. bit, but not by much, because no. Alt Mile's skill of counter blasting and switching for two great teams and putting it in hand is nuts. It is. That's but crazy. Just That's filtering and getting more resources. On alone, I think the Gears have just outbeats it by a little right. bit. In my, argument, in my argument, uh, looking at what we have now for Royals, you have so much Royal support. I think Alt yep. Mile is, strong, is the strongest by a mile. Uh, Alt Mal uses Alt-Mal. skill, call, <laughs> uses skill, call two lonely angels. That's four cards in, in, in your hand. That's four cards in your hand. Like, yeah, that's all that's, right. That's pretty crazy for Royals who already are as good. And you have a variety of ways to build that. You can go Alt Mal solo. You can go Alt Mal Mordred as Alt Mal and Alt Mal support Mordred. Mordred. Mean Not Mordred. I mean, guess a lot. I'm bad with names, okay? Words are hard. Words are hard. I don't think Alt Mal Grandpa is going to work too well, my aunt's opinion. I think it will. Oh, like, you would switch out nah, Alt Mal. I don't think you so. You would switch out Alt Mal for Alfred, and then he could just call out. No, because if you're on Gantz, they might as well stay on Gantz a lot, so you can get yourself free I mean, dry checks from Black Blade. True, but if you don't have Gantz a lot, like, you won't, you won't use Alfred either in Gantz a lot, but if you don't have Gantz a lot, you I mean, at least Alfred fetch your Black Blade out from Drop that you um, either. Or use for guardian. True, so. but there's already like one to two cards that do that for for flesh the blade. And in this case, I would rather be able to switch to fetch out two flesh the blades from hand and then call them, and then have them call them to call them the next turn. But at that point, you should you should probably be saving them to you ride to guess a lot. That I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Turn, I would call the next them calling the, turn, not really just get both, them and call yeah. them. Oh, no, so, I'm saying so add them to hand and then call them oh, oh, the next oh, turn oh, when I ride guess a lot. So you're saying that if you ride all miles, switch for two blocks, you place punch in hand and ride guess on the call them out and just and just blast. Well, you ride all mile, get two get two blaster blades, and then the next turn. The next turn, you will ride Gantz a lot, and then just blast. Yes. And then yeah, if they drop I'll, them... Hopefully you live to the next turn, though. Hopefully you live to the oh, next turn. Oh, you will. Outmail's not bad. Don't don't act like Outmail's... Oh, no, 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 no. I never said Outmail was bad. No, 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 no. You're stupid if Outmail was bad. Oh, but I'm just saying, if you live to the so, next so turn, this is what you're playing against. Yeah. I think it'll work. 
like again, it could it could work on its own as well. So like if we're looking at there's a, it has a variety of options, <laughs> variety of options, and I don't think that. I mean, like, all the trials have I options for their main set drop. Right. Is that they're so, just using some of their older stuff, and as of right now, Neonectarian was do in fact have the edge over Chrono Jet, but Chrono Jet draw so, the type. What is your um, rating? Least to worst, Rebel. Go for it. Just give it to us. Hmm. This is actually pretty hard. Just look at their skills in general. Look at trust. We uh, gotta figure this out. Entirely try to buy themselves or try to plus their older support before their main support. I was looking at themselves with the possible older support. Okay, by themselves is going to be more like Otmar, Asha, Chrono Jet. And for about them, for them support wise, it's kind of more like Otmar, Chrono Jet, and Asha. Okay, okay. So, so, so variety of variation. By themselves, just by himself, you agree with Ali. Without them, you almost you have like because different. That okay. stuff with grade two stuff with Altman is still freaking crazy, and also yeah. if he is running a four grade three build, he can also search out for those new mechanics we're getting. Yeah, which means he can waste two combats if he needs it in the trial deck itself. Yeah, and his main support line there's a. Wild ways all might be splashed in and played, and then until his main set drops. Man, he's gonna be really good. Because the deck, because he fixed a lot of world issues as well as not worry about counter charging and whatnot. Chrono Jet, like I, like I said before, he has a lot of options because of the support he got so far. And when his set drops, he's getting more. Uh... And Chrono Tiger kind of fixed the set of gears got from the. Actual four did fix a lot of issues that that had, and actually more strive to play around. They don't have to play with mystery flare. They can play with Chrome Fang. I thought play Chrome Fang and that deck together, uh, yeah. or Chrome Fang be the finisher. While Chrome Jet just opens them up. If not, be the card. Whatever. I don't. Be the card. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still the same rebel. I honestly, for me, I could, I see the deck being like I ride Chrono Jet. And then I go next stage, and if he's still after that, after the discard for next stage, I go into uh, Chrono Fang to, uh, Tiger Rebellion and just killing you. Am like, I if the deck does that, the deck just becomes really, really good on its own. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, did we talk about your thoughts? Going March, uh, I'm not really done yet, but... Oh, go for it. Keep talking. Do your thing. Sorry. The new Nectar, new Nectar has a lot of good support cards that can make tokens and spam yeah, them out. Yeah. But they, they can run the... Like, Archie can read in a Musketeer build just for her making another great three, yeah. another great three to gain her power, like, as well have a lot of token spam, as well a lot of way to gain tokens. Yeah, right, awesome. Right, easier for That's the good. play. Yeah, right, awesome. But right now, I'm just waiting till her more of her main set comes out and see what else she can do. Yeah, right now there's not a lot going on in the main set. Because the inventor is making big column and power that you have to guard, and sometimes you need PG to guard that stuff. But at the same time, is not all too overwhelming compared to other force decks that get you either dry check, multi attacks. Yeah, dry check, multi attacks makes you with force fans that have that draw, some that even can ride to grade four, which this deck is be getting a reinforce soon. So it's kind of like being on to the bomb right now until her main, till we get more stuff on the main support line. That's why I put her so low in my both on my list, either on my. Crown Jet, but I think Crown Jet's third for me in, in the trial deck market. I do feel his trial deck is a bit weak until we, more stuff comes out. To be honest, yeah, I will say his that the trial deck is the weakest three, yeah. uh, for his ultimate trial decks, but that just means for me that um, that the new set coming out for might just be the thing that could just push it over the edge. Because yeah, and also the fact that the set from Ultra 4 is going to boost them anyway. Right. He said, yeah. "Good also, yes. what's, really, what's really scaring me about that set, about that deck is that uh, Chrono Jet says gets plus five k, and you can't call Sentinels from your hand to guard when it's but it caught a counter blast, which I think kind of comes with Chrono Thing though. Yeah, that's a that's the I mean, only problem I see though. Yeah, yeah. But I think so, like if next stage has an ability that says, okay, remove this card from the van, 
put on that back, back to the ball necklace and then scan Chrono Jet. That's a good meaning 30, 48k attack that yeah. you can't go Sentinels for. That's that's really scary if you think about oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's really scary. All right. Phoebe, you're on uh, now. Sorry. Go for it. Give us what you think. Oh. Uh, so I guess, and I, I haven't really done that much research into all the trial decks, but I guess. The trial, trial decks themselves, and this is my opinion, I could be wrong, I must have been wrong, but... That's fine, I'm not the wrong thing in. Um, yeah. Trial decks themselves, without without any support, like from older support or uh, booster sets, the, the decks themselves, from what we know, my ranking is probably going to be... Uh, I would say... Probably a tie between Alt-Mile and Asha, and then... Sorry, Ellie. I'm putting Chrono Jet in the bottom, but then when you, but then when you add a other support, I would say, uh, I, from what I've seen, I mean, Alt Mile is looking just ridiculous. But then I don't know. I mean, Asha for sure number two. The thing is, okay, maybe explain this to me, Ellie. So Chrono Jet, yeah. do you attack first and then you stride, or do you? Attack after you stride. They the exact same throw. So, if, if next, so let me tell like this. If next stage is what I think it's going to do, you will. You no, will no, he's out. adding for project to stride it. Huh? He's just acting at the chrono to stride it yeah. before attacking. Yeah. So if I think this was going to do, you will put next stage. You will attack next stage, right? Remove mm -hmm. next stage from the from the field. Stand chrono jet, attack down chrono jet with that sentinel strike. That's what this piece is going to do. To answer okay. your question. Um, currently, yes, you would. You will strike first because that, that, and yeah, you'll ride right and yeah. stride. Yeah, ride right and stride. Yeah, that's your first, yes. Yeah. You it, it's would, kind of. wouldn't be strike, be attacking my project. Well, you said you, said, uh, you wouldn't be attacking my project? No, no. You will. You no. will be with the rear guard crown jets, yeah, but for that itself, matter. you're still going to be striding first. Yeah. With, gears deck with rolling, gears, that's the whole mechanic gears. With gears, all you do is try. Okay, so if that's the, if that's the case, then yeah, I mean, like an, until we get it to where Chrono Jack attacks after strike, because I mean, put him on rear Let's be honest here. Uh, Danger Lund, no Sentinels, plus ten. I'm not scared of a plus five, but that just bothers me. Like, why why did they do plus five and not plus ten? And so, because uh, uh, there is for that. To the whole, 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 but you have to have three gift markers under the uh, your danger lunge for it to proc. Three gift markers in one go is nothing to a gear chronicle clan. The, the, how many times they ride per turn, it doesn't do anything. So again, uh, that plus 5k is warranted because I'd rather deal with that than a 33-40k attack with no sentinels for basically uh, all so the first three. Fact, it's nuts. Ooh, the uh, fact that uh, gift chronicle uh, can, in fact, generate more force markers than a lot of decks since they can just ride Re and rewrite again after striding, and then rewrite it and write another breakthrough again to get three, four hundred right then and there. Yeah, which can be very lethal as well. But I, I guess because more, more, more during the blaster dart, you can just spam force markers. So, why did oh, yeah, that, that is it? true. That is true. I mean, but would Chrono Chron Jet plus 10 just be broken? or? I don't think that they'll be broken, just more like you just gotta be on a lookout on their. You gotta be able to look at as well as be wary because they can sit on a rock you out of nowhere. I can, okay. I can definitely yeah. see Chrono Jet becoming strong after the next stage. Probably stronger than Asha, probably not. I, I don't know. Maybe. I say it's too soon to say for right now because we don't know what's call. really yeah. going on in their main set. That's why I cut it off to. Well, I don't think. With the current support yeah. and the support they will yeah. be coming out, which actual force that will allow. But I'm just cutting up to older sets and what they got till now. That's why I cut. That's why my rank is based on that. Yeah. Stand, yeah. Try that. You already know. Chrono is kind of the weakest of the three. Yeah. yeah. With, uh, honest, I, I, right, with, yeah. with the trial deck, if the trial deck isn't what I'm thinking, it isn't going to be as good as I think it's going to be. Which personally, it's halfway in. I don't know. But if yeah. it's not as good as I think it's going to be, the next the set before Astro Force has so many good Gear Chronicle cards in it. Just slap it in Chrono Jet and you're fine. <laughs> like, you're not missing anything out on it. Just, just put Chrono Fang uh, Ride Loop into Chrono Jet and you're okay. That's what Cameron's doing. He's doing just fine. You know, I think uh, now I think about it, if you do add the old support with uh, Gear Chronicle, I'm, I'm just picturing this. I'm picturing uh, what, what's the grade four that makes it we can have extra turn. Mystery oh, player. Mystery player? Yeah. I'm just picturing. I don't, okay. I don't think mystery you would use player. Mystery player. 
You don't well, use I'm, I'm, I'm Superman anymore. I'm just picturing. I'm just picturing. Oh, you can well, just picture like Turbo still. But, I mean, I know. Oh but yeah, I'm you can. Like, I'm saying like yeah. that extra turn, and then you also have a Chrono Jet in the rear guard. I know Sentinels. That would just be insane. Oh yeah. But they gotta build around the mystery sir though, cause yeah, like, like, and Dex. If Conjus is a disposable card, so if you can, if you want to make it like that, then you have to make the deck around mystery flare, because mystery is a uh, bonding nineteen or more, maybe easy with Valkyrion, but you still make the deck around mystery flare, because no gear card card so far has been able to bind as much as uh this uh, previous support. That's true. Well, well actually, four does help mystery flare a little bit with with more cards yeah, I can yeah. bind, but other than that, it's still kind of still slow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and, I mean, that's slow and work. yeah, but other great forces in it for Gear Chronicles have been better. They've been getting a lot more stuff though. Yeah, Rebellion. Honestly, for me, Rebellion is just just a better card. Oh yeah, guaranteed. Alright, so yeah. uh, if there's nothing else, uh, I think this is a good spot to wrap up. Anyone have any other thoughts, opinions, suggestions? Free discussion. Free discussion. Yes, free discussion. Talk. I have a suggestion. Oh, honestly, wait, 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 I'm gonna take a shower. It's not hard. Oh, actually, no, I, I will. I have a shower head that can, like, you know, move over to the bathroom. That's like no, no, I do. The I do. I do. You just like I run think that. It's I mean, you just run that. You just put day stuff. You get up with that. No, you came, man. Take a bucket, fill it up, and take a shower. No, just get a get a spray gun. Get a squirt gun and just. Okay, guys, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Yeah, we're, we're, giving, we're giving Nerf too much publicity, okay. but we'll stop. 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 <laughs> Rebel Stream, Rebel. It's Nerf for nothing. Right. Anyway, Ali, you were uh, saying something? Uh, For me, uh, to, to cut to end the debate about Gear Chronicle, don't. Honestly, um, for Gears, uh, <laughs> we've I've seen. Because I've played this game since. Oh, oh, so has Rebel as well. For Gear Chronicle, right? When Gear Chronicle first came out, it wasn't much of a threat until Bush Road really made it a threat. So yeah, they were trying to like. Hey, 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 not seem really good right now, but I'm telling you right now, once Next Stage comes out, it's, it's you're not gonna like what's gonna do. Are you expecting time <laughs> leap? Is what you're saying? Are you expecting time leap? I don't uh, think we're doing time leap. I don't think no, it's no, gonna I'm happen. Gonna, I'm gonna see Next Stage do something stupid. I not not just broken. Stupid. That's what I said. I mean, uh, it's gonna be the restander. Yeah, it's that's just gonna. Yeah. That is pretty. Stupid. I might see the restander and get power to the front row. Yeah. Then that's a actually a threat. Then, yeah. or he restands the whole three row. Yeah. Honestly, oh if, God, car, if this card so says row. restand so every single chrono jet, that's gonna be insanity. Oh, Actual insanity. that would be dope. Just call it. And <laughs> bro, three chrono jets front row standing all up. Oh my god. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's that Chrono Jet in Seoul. Restand it, and then restand his other Chrono Jets on the board. Yeah. Mm, scary, scary. Six, six attacks, gang, gang. Yeah. <laughs> We're triple drive, gang, gang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give him all drive checks, let's go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Five drive checks. Which one's that, bro? Games are better. <laughs> Five drive checks, the hand strings. This is starting to think for Force Clans anyway, restanding their Vanguard or oh getting a lot of drive checks. As well, three four. Is it time to bring to bring stand triggers back? Just throwing it out there. Mm, no, 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 Do not bring those fucking cards back. No. Do not Why? bring them back. Alright, no. so. You want to know the start topic? No. We'll, Stop. We'll, we'll Stop. talk about that next week. <laughs> Yeah, we'll talk about that next week. It was bad enough in G. It was bad enough in Everdale. It was bad enough in G. losing his ever-loving Not today. Thank you for watching. We still have the G discussion. Oh, yeah, let's finish that. Gears are the best. You don't know you're the best. We can do the G discussion next week. Okay, that's fair. Because Hermit's very excited about it, so we're going to push that to next week. 
Okay, that's okay, that's not, fair. Uh, uh, well, Ellie is still continuing to lose his mind. Did he talk to lose his mind about people continuing to watch stupid things on toilet paper? Just to resell, <laughs> just to resell it on um, eBay for like ten dollars. Thank you. Stop. Well, I'm gonna laugh when I mean, all y'all I work at a grocery store, so I can tell you right now, we're gonna restock them toilet paper. I don't know how long it will last, though. Yeah, thank you for watching and listening. Until <laughs> next time, this is McClendon Craig Rambar. I mean, uh, this is McClendon Craig Podcast. I don't know words, because they are hard. I am Snoop Fly. Peace. Sup, bye.